हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पेडल जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हेयर वी हैव एम प्लस एन इक्वल्स टू इलेवन एंड एम टाइम्स ऑफ एन इक्वल्स टू आल्सो इलेवन एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम एंड एन सो हेयर फर्स्ट वी कॉल दिस इज आवर इक्वेजन नंबर वन एंड वी कॉल दिस इज आवर इक्वेजन नंबर टू so here uh, first we need to focus on equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 we have here we need to move this m to the right hand side and it will becomes n equals to 11 minus m and we call this is our equation number 3 so that now we need to uh, we need to uh, substitute uh, this value of n in equation number 2 so that from equation number 2 we have now uh, we put this value of n in this equation so first we have this is m and the value of n so our n equals to 11 minus m and this is equals to 11 So here uh, we need to multiply this m on both of these terms, and it will be written as 11m minus m square equals to 11. So this will this equation becomes quadratic in m variable, but not into the standard form. So that first we can convert this into the standard form. Uh, we need to move these two values to the right hand side. So here we have this is minus m square. it will becomes plus m square this is plus 11m becomes minus 11m this is plus 11 equals to 0 so here we can apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 11 and c is equals to plus 11 and we know about a quadratic formula it is stated as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a b and c here and it will be written as m equals to minus b the value of b is minus 11 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 11 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 11 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 11 and now in the next step uh, we have m is equals to this is minus times of minus becomes plus 11 and plus minus square root of uh, this is minus 11 square we know that minus 11 square equals to 121 and this minus 4 times of 11 equals to 44 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 so here we need more simplifications and we write it as m equals to 11 plus minus here we know that 100 And twenty one minus forty four equals to seventy seven square root, and it is divided by two. So these are the two values of m. But now here we need to find the corresponding values of m. So uh, here uh, we will break these two values of m. So that now we first write here the positive value. It is eleven plus square root of seventy seven. Divided by two, and here we write the negative value. It is eleven minus square root of seventy-seven divided by two. And now, uh, in order to find the value of n, we need here equation number three. So that from equation number three, we have now first we can copy down equation number three here. It is n equals to 11 minus m and now uh, first we will put this value of m here and we get n equals to 11 minus m the value of m is 11 plus square root of 77 divided by 2 and similarly the parallel case is we can put this value of m here and we get n equals to 
11 minus m and the value of m in that case is 11 minus square root of 77 divided by 2. <coughs> so now uh, in the next step here we need to simplify the terms. Now here we can just take the LCM of this term. So the LCM of this term is 2 and now we can multiply this 2 by 11 and you get 2 times of 11 equals to 22. And now we can divide this 2 by 2 and we get 1 and we will multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 11 minus square root of 77. Similarly in that case we have uh, n is equals to here we again need to take the LCM of this term and we get 2 and you see here 2 times of 11 is 22. 2 is cancelled out by these two. We need to multiply this minus on these two terms and we get minus 11 plus square root of 77. And now in the next step we have n is equals to 22 minus 11 equals to 11 minus square root of 77 divided by 2. And similarly in that case we have n equals to 22 minus 11 equals to 11 plus 77 square root divided by 2. So these are the value of n and corresponding to the value of m is this one. Similarly, uh, in for this value of m, we get the corresponding value of n is this. Okay, so, so here uh, we have uh, two solutions of the given equation are the first solution is mn equals to uh, the value of m is 11 plus square root of 77 divided by 2 and the value of n is 11 minus square root of 77 divided by 2. And similarly, uh, the second solution is, first we write the uh, value of m, it is 11 minus square root of 77 divided by 2 and the value of n is 11 plus square root of 77 divided by 2. So these are the two solutions of the given equation. And now uh, in the next step we need to verify uh, these solutions. So here we will just verify the one solution and I can left the other solution for up to you. And now here we need to copy down the given equations here so that the first equation is m plus n equals to 11 and the second equation is m n equals to 11. So here we can just verify this solution and I can left this solution for you. So here uh, in the first uh, equation we will put the values of m and n. The value of m is 11 plus square root of 77 divided by 2. The value of n is 11 minus square root of 77 divided by 2 and this whole equals to 11. So first we can solve the first equation. We need to take the LCM of this one and we uh, get uh, 11 plus square root of 77 plus 11 minus square root of 77 equals to 11. This is negative and positive are gone. And we obtain 11 plus 11 becomes 22 over 2 equals to 11 and 2 11s are 22. So 11 equals to 11. This shows that the values of M and N satisfy the first equation. Similarly, we can check uh, the second equation. Here we can put the value of M. It is 11 plus square root of 77 divided by 2. The value of N is 11 minus square root of 77 divided by 2. And this is equals to uh, so 11. Here we can apply the uh, formula a plus b into a minus b. It is equals to 11 square minus 77 square root and its whole square. So 2 times of 2 is 4 equals to 11. So here we obtain 11 square is 121 minus this is cancelled out by each other and we get 77. Uh, and it is divided by 4 equals to 11. So 121 minus 77 equals to 44 divided by 4 equals to 11. So these are cancelled by each other and we get 11 equals to 11. This shows that the value of m satisfies the second equation as well. So uh, similarly you can check the second solution. Uh, this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.